Greetings, Internet. It's Dustin again with my HomeKit Home, bringing you all things Apple HomeKit from news to product reviews to how to's, just like this one. So, if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos as soon as they're released. In a previous video, we looked at organizing our HomeKit Home's accessories using zones, groups, and the accessories tiles. And I'll leave a link to that video in the iCard up above and in the description box down below. But iOS 15 brings us some Thing that's arguably much more useful and is something I've personally wanted for a number of years now, and that's the ability to name our automations. We've been able to do this in third-party HomeKit apps, but we can finally do it in Apple's own Home app. So in this video, we'll look at how to add a name to an existing automation, but also see how it integrates when we're setting up a new one. So if you're excited about all of the new HomeKit features in iOS 15, drop a like below and let's get started started. From the Automations tab, as you might expect, we'll tap on the automation that we want to name. Then we'll tap on the line that gives us a summary of the triggers for our automation. Then we'll name our automation, and then we'll tap Done at the top right. And that's really all there is to it. As you can see, we do have our automation named here, and it really makes this infinitely easier whenever you're trying to track down your automation, if you're trying to troubleshoot, or if you want to add something to your automation. Seeing how well the naming process is integrated into creating a new automation really makes me wonder why Apple didn't just do this from the beginning. So once you've chosen your automation type and your conditions, we'll go ahead and choose whichever scenes or devices we want to actually have happen whenever our automation is triggered. Once we've done that, we'll name our automation by tapping on the line with all of our different triggers there at the top, and it really is just as easy as that. Once we're satisfied, we'll tap done and well, we are. You may also notice that your automations are now listed in alphabetical order, which is a far sight better than previous iOS iterations that really had no rhyme or reason to their organizational structure. And you may also notice that any of the automations you set up in a third-party HomeKit app like the Eve app or the Home Plus app also appear here with their names, which is a definite win in my book. Super simple, but super useful. I'm really glad that we get this feature with iOS 15. What other HomeKit gems have you found in iOS 15? Let us know in the comments down below. If you like today's video, then you'll definitely dig this one and you'll really like this playlist here too. If you made it this far, go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on more HomeKit content just like this. Well, I do thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,